Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo in Parkway RV Center. Got another nice Class A motorhome we're going to look at today. And this is a little shorter one than I mostly shoot. And this is a uh, 2011 Atasca by Winnebago. This is a Sunstar. The model is a 30W. 30 feet 11 inches long is the total length. It's got two slide outs. Pretty neat little motorhome, guys. It's uh, got a big living room. It's got the opposing slides in the living room, which is kind of nice in a shorter Class A. Built on a Ford F53 chassis. It's got the 6.8 liter Triton V10 with um, 362 horsepower. So this thing can get up and go. Uh, 5,000 pound tow capacity and a five speed automatic torque shift transmission. Just turned 65,000 miles, which for, uh, I guess, 11 years old is not bad at all. Uh, got a 4KW on and generator, just turned 200 hours. And uh, it's got leveling jacks, and it's a Winnebago. Guys, it's a good quality coach. Fiberglass roof, crowned one-piece fiberglass roof. Both slide outs have awning toppers. The outside of this thing actually looks pretty clean generator runs good we drove it several hundred miles back generators quiet it's a 30 amp electrical service it's only got one AC that's why you only have a 4kw which is all you need for this coach I don't really see anything on it that I mean, it's got a good shine to it. Um, don't see any really any fading or anything. Backup camera works. Storage. Looks good. Pass-through storage. Got a power patio awning. We should have been an upgrade that year. I'm pretty sure it was. Not bad. Oh, wait, got one little thing on it right here. Got some crow's feet and this little blue stripe. That's the only one I see. So, uh, considering the age of the coach, that's actually pretty good. Oh, right here. A little bit more on this stripe right here, but everything else looks good. Uh, let's look inside. Inside is, um, looks all original. I like the fact that even though it's a small RV, you got the opposing slides in the living room. So it really opens it up in here like a bigger coach has. But you're only you're under 31 feet long. Uh, you got a sleeper sofa. This is that makes this actually makes a queen size bed. The sleeper sofa does. And then you got a uh, table booth that makes a bed. So bed in the back too. That's six. You know, looking up here, guys, seats look great. 65,000 miles, 65,041 miles, and no check engine lights, no warning lights. You know, Winnebago is a very, very well-built brand. They actually build 80% of their own parts in-house. And they, they actually build motorhomes, not just put them together like most other brands do. Dash air is cold. It's got the one-piece windshield. Great visibility. Because you don't have that pillar right there in between the front there. Um, I like how they, I also like the Winnebago's, how they put their stereo right here. Um, you got the actual, your house stereo, and that's actually your car stereo too. And uh, I always thought that was pretty neat. Power gear jack system. Um, so you got power mirrors. Of course, cruise and tilt, TV up top. Of course, Winnebago's famous one-piece crowned fiberglass roof. Uh, Winnebago, like I said, they build 80% of their own parts in-house, and they were the first manufacturer to start assembling their own frames in-house. In other words, guys, the frame, the metal, I'm not talking about the chassis, because the chassis steel, of course, the Ford chassis, but everything from the chassis up, the frame is built by Winnebago for Winnebago. And it's an all aluminum frame with steel in the front cab. In fact, the windshield mount is steel to make it stronger. 
or front end pack in case you heaven forbid you ever have a wreck in one of these uh winnebago probably one of the ones i'd want to be in if i ever if i had to, if i had my choice and that ever happened to me um because of that steel up here in the cab um but uh, i mean the seats the furniture is built by winnebago the compartments the cabinets which is really nice because one thing about a Winnebago that makes them unique among everybody else besides that they build most of their own parts is the fact that you can order pretty much any part for any year model Winnebago right from the factory. Now it takes them a couple of weeks to get them to you sometimes. Um, of course, what doesn't in this day and age? But, you know, here's the thing. If you've got a 20-year-old Winnebago or a 30-year-old Winnebago, you can still order parts for, from it. Now, if you had a Fleetwood, a Holiday Rambler, or pretty much any other brand out there the same age, you couldn't get parts from the factory. But Winnebago, you can. And that's one thing I always stood out. I've owned two Winnebagos myself personally, so um, really a fan of the brand. In fact, when I took the factory tour, uh, one thing that stood out is that the fact the guy giving the tour said that Winnebago actually builds motorhomes, not just puts them together like everybody else. And that kind of sticks with it. I mean, super strong roof system, no rattles, no squeaks, nothing. You know, you can punch this, you can punch this roof as hard as you can. And you're not going to have any light lenses fall off the lights. You're not going to have any squeaks or rattles when you do that. It's because they're so well built, so solid. And you really can't do that with many other brands. It does have the carpeted headliner, so if it's ever had a leak, you could tell really easily. This one hasn't had any. Uh, it does have a fantastic vent fan, which is a great upgrade. I've uh, got a smaller kitchen, but I mean, you're in a smaller motorhome. And, um, but it's got everything you need. You got a double basin sink. There's some keys, some extra keys to it. I'll have to carry in. Microwave, three burner stove top, got an oven. Doesn't like most of them. Doesn't look like it's been used. Like I said, the table booth folds down, makes a bed. You know, even the one, even the cabinets that Winnebago's makes has a patented glaze on them that they've been using for about forty something years, and um, it protects them, keeps them from fading and, and and looking bad in fact you can look at a winnebago that's 50 that's 45 50 years old that has this glaze on the cabinets the rest of the rv might be falling apart but the cabinets look as good as these right here uh you got a six cubic foot rv refrigerator freezer which is clean haven't had it on very long but it is getting cold in the freezer i can guarantee you that and i do guarantee guys so as this one as with all my used rvs i do guarantee the refrigerator and the air conditioners the roof airs to get to operating temp i guarantee the slide outs and generator to function correctly and of course it, that it'll t go down the road like it's supposed to so um and if you want to see anything else work that's when you come up and do your own inspection and we do welcome third party inspection if you want to hire an rv inspector you're welcome to it send them up here just coordinate everything with your salesperson so they know about it um of course you can always come up and look yourself test drive it um we do test drives monday to friday not on saturday unfortunately we don't we have we don't have enough people here on saturday to do test drives but we do monday through friday 9 a.m to 6 p.m so you know like i said if you want to test drive it call ahead so the salesperson can make sure there's plenty of fuel in it batteries are up can get it pulled out for you with the slide outs in and all that good stuff so now i can see the way they did this because it's two slides are both in the living room that's where most of your room's going to be at you know you still got a decent sized bedroom i mean it's not huge like some of the other class a's i've seen but what what do you spend more time in your bedroom or your living room so me i think i'd rather have the space in the living room than the bedroom but you still got enough in here to change clothes sleep two people you got a queen island bed you got a little closet right here mini closet right there on the side place for a tv over in the corner if you wanted to put one not bad it does have a, a curtain for privacy and you've got a split bath like most of them do this small and 
water closet you got a RV toilet a little extra storage big medicine cabinet again guys no water stains anywhere you hardly ever see many leaks in Winnebago's this is because of the way that fiberglass roof is made you got you know kind of a smaller shower but I mean I could fit in it'd be pretty tight though I uh, got a skylight that looks good no signs of water damage still got the stickers in the bottom of the tub that means uh hasn't been overly used because what happens is those stickers on the bottom people rub them with their feet they're getting wet and dry wet and dry and they they don't last very long after you take several showers but the fact that th those are still in there means they didn't take a ton of showers in this thing so definitely wasn't a live-in unit or nothing like that they probably just like me they probably utilized the bathhouses at the campgrounds and i I guess because I'm such a big guy, I'm, I'm 300 plus pounds, six foot four, not many showers I can be comfortable in. So believe me, I am I utilize bathhouses at the campgrounds fairly often. And what do y'all think? Well, put in the comments below for those of you who are actually RV owners. Do y'all use the bathhouses if they're really clean or, or do you try to still use it, still use the uh, showers in your bath, in your uh, RV? That's a good question. Like I said, I prefer, even when I have my 38-foot Winnebago, I still prefer a bathhouse with bigger showers and more water pressure and more hot water. So, But, I mean, I've used plenty of Barbie showers, too. It's just a little bit tighter when you're my size. Anyway, guys, I've got this unit. Great deal. Uh, $59.9. That's, that's under NADA retail. Um, 65,000 miles, 200 hours on generator slide outs work you know everything that we guarantee to work works it's got a 15,000 btu ducted roof air which works dash air is cold come out and take a look at it guys neat little motor home for those of you who are not wanting a huge class a who still want a class a because of the fuel capacity and the holding tank sizes and the extra storage and the drivability but you don't want to drive a, a 40 foot box on wheels well guys this is a 30 foot one and um this is an ideal size for state parks, older campgrounds that can accommodate bigger coaches or that have just a limited number of spaces for bigger coaches. Yeah, that's one thing I ran across a lot when I had my big one is that um, a lot of the state parks and stuff, so I like older campgrounds, older state parks. I, I'm not much into the big park everybody in a field right next to each other type of camp, and that's not me. I like trees in the campground, shade, um, you know, older buildings, the character of them. That's what I like. Natural beauty, things like that. You know, I know a lot of people like the resorts with all the, uh, like I said, parked on top of each other and, and you know, no shade, no trees. I just, it, to me, it's just like parking in the middle of a field. Um, I mean, I'll, I've stayed at plenty of those, but I, I prefer more natural settings. Um, of course you know i say that now my my daughter's four when she gets older she'll she'll want to go there with these resorts with all these kids activities and stuff like that so instead of just a playground <laughs> um so i may be going to those before i know it <laughs> but uh you know one thing i do love about my, i've got a 25 footer now um over my 38 is even though it's smaller it's still nice because i pretty much stay anywhere uh, a lot of the older parks I like to stay at only have one or two sites for bigger RVs and they're booked up several months in advance, even during the week. So I am able to, with my smaller motor home, because it's under 32 feet, I'm able to get into a lot more campgrounds a lot sooner than one than if I had my 38 footer. And this would be the same thing. So anyway, let me know in the comments what you think about it. Feel free to smash me a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe to my channel, RVs with Big Bow. Let me know what you think about this uh, Tasca uh, Sunstar. It's I think it's nice for what it is. I think it's roomy for a 30-foot motorhome. Uh, a lot of room, uh, I guess, because most of it's right here in the living area, which I like. I guess if I was going to have two slides in a small Class A, this, this I'd, I'd want them right here opposing. 
and you can still get by too when these rooms are in guys you can still get back and forth to the bathrooms and bedrooms and all that and you can still use the bath because there's no slide in the bedroom you still got full access to the bedroom and bathroom even when your slide outs are in anyway guys thank y'all so much for watching i appreciate it i know it's just a quick video it's getting toward the end of the day so uh this unit is 59.9 haggle free firm uh plus applicable sales tax if you are a georgia resident we do have to charge a hundred dollar highway impact fee and a 40 to 50 dollar tag and title fee that applies to georgia residents only out of state you don't worry about that um we have financing available with approved credit and down payment if you're interested in the up-to-date information on that call one of our salespeople at 706-965-7929 um, you can also visit our website parkwayrvcenter.com to see our current inventory used rvs may not have videos on everything but i'm working on at least getting some pictures up and stuff like that even if i don't do a video and got more stuff coming in every single day i know we bought two or three today and um you know i'll try to post those when i can of course keep in mind guys not everything on our lots on the website either so if you don't see what you're looking for on the website we may still have it best thing to do is just either if you can't stop by you're too far away to stop by which is always the best thing is to pick up a phone and call one of my salespeople. say hey i'm looking for this 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 and this and they can tell you if we have it they can tell you about it send you some pictures give you a chance to buy it before it goes online because these videos sell these things guys i'm telling you I've had a many a customer say, all right, once I see the video, I'll probably buy it. So I do a video on it, put it on YouTube, and one of my other subscribers buys it before they even get a chance to watch the video and call. And that's happened numerous times. So remember, sometimes it's nice just to have a personal contact here, a salesperson that you get to know a little bit, and they'll think of you when something comes in like you want, and you get a chance to buy it before everybody else does. So... And also, guys, if you get subscribed to my YouTube channel, you also get about a 24-hour notice before it goes on everywhere on the Internet. Um, by being a subscriber to my channel, it kind of gives you a preview. But keep in mind, I've also got 30, 000, almost 31,000 subscribers on my channel. So you, you'll, be, you'll get a, a preview of it, but so will 31,000 other people. But not near as many if, if you weren't a subscriber, if that makes sense. Because once it goes on to YouTube, it goes on my website, then it goes into a feed, goes to RV Trader, goes to RVT, uh, eBay, goes to Craigslist, Facebook, and more. Way more than 30,000 people will see it then. A lot more than that. So, But like I said, it's best to call, just talk to one of my salespeople, get to know them a little bit and uh they can tell you about stuff as it comes in quicker than i can post it online so um <clears throat> and keep in mind we have no extra fees besides the ones i mentioned the applicable sales tax and, the, and if you're a georgia resident the highway impact fee and the tag and title fee that's just because the state makes us charge that so the 59.9 plus applicable sales tax is what most of y'all are going to pay unless you're georgia then you pay 140 150 bucks extra and we're not like rip off world all these other places that add thousands and thousands of dollars in fees on top of the advertised price and we're not like rip off world that mark and all these other corporate dealers that mark interest rates up on financing we don't do that guys you go through our lenders you're getting the lowest interest rate we can get you and uh with no dealer interest rate markup now other guys can't say that we um we have no upsells we don't try to shove extended warranties and gap insurance and this this and this down your throat like the other dealers do and try to talk you into paying a few extra bucks a month when they start talking payment and telling you how much extra a month you can pay to get this this and this most of that stuff's not worth the paper it's written on second of all it's marked up three or four times dealer cost and they do that to keep you from figuring out how much money you're financing guys your amount financed is the thing you should always be looking at not the payment the payment will follow what the interest rate and the amount finance is on your rv loan well the payment always goes right in line with that i promise you guys it's simple math um it doesn't lie 
but I always say no to upsells. Try to keep your amount financed as low as possible. Keep your rate as low as possible. Always, always check with your bank and credit union um, or whoever you do your banking with to see what they offer for an RV loan so you have a basis of comparison. Keep in mind, guys, we've been in business for 53 years. We keep things easy, simple, and done. Just simple selling. No surprises, no games, no gimmicks. We're the only dealership around with 100 plus used RVs in stock right now that you can walk through at your own pace. You don't have to go through a sales office. You don't have to search for a price. I don't know if you can see it or not because we're inside, but it's written in big letters right there on the front of the windshield. Price, the year, the miles, everything. That's the price. It does, it's haggle-free firm. It doesn't matter if you live two hours or, what, or, or two miles away or 2,000 miles away. That's the price. Uh, but we have no fees. We have no surprises, no games, no gimmicks. But we just keep it, like I said, easy, simple, and done. But thank you for watching my video, guys. I really appreciate it. Again, make sure you hit that subscribe button, RVs with Big Bo. Like my page on Facebook, RVs with Big Bo. Thumbs up. Comment and share it on social media i'm gonna cut it short so i can get this one online tonight but thank you again for watching and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful ringo georgia also forgot to mention guys nationwide delivery is available got questions call us 706-965-7929 thank you for watching look forward to seeing you in beautiful ringo georgia